Oh my God. That's all I'm going to say. So, it's happening. Oh yes, it's happening. Kirsty Meekin has her own gel polish range. <laughs> so, we've been working on this for how long? Long time. Forever. <laughs> A long time to make sure the formula is amazing, the packaging, because I'm very fussy when it comes to packaging. Very fussy. But I wanted everything to be absolutely perfect before we launched. So today is the first day that I've been able to use my gel polish on our YouTube channel. So yeah, I say my gel polish, it's our gel polish. It just has my name on. Um, so yeah, yeah. It would look silly with Adam Paul after on it. It would look a bit yeah. silly, yeah. So there are 40 colours in the range there is a glossy top coat obviously in the most gorgeous absolutely gorgeous rose gold packaging and look at the facets on that they sparkle like a diamond shining to the sky to the moon you can see it from the moon it's that beautiful and they're an absolute nightmare to film and photograph because it's that shiny <laughs> Uh, this is your base coat. So your base coat has a pink lid, pink body. The matte top coat, pink lid, pink body, but matte body. See? That's easy to photograph, isn't it, Adam? That's much better, yeah. Apart from that. Apart look from at that. that. <laughs> look at that. It's just like, look at the rose gold print on that. It's just beautiful. And then the colours, all the colours come like this. So you have this gorgeous pink body. And the rose gold handle with the Kirsty Meekin logo, and you can see what colour it is from the top. So when they're on your shelves, you can see all the colours really easily, and they just look just so nice. I'm so pleased. Um, they soak off really easily. We say ten minutes, but they do actually soak off in five minutes because it's been tested within a salon for months to double check standards and everything like that so yeah they just soak off so easily they're super pigmented they the colors are amazing i just love them and there's even more colors to come so today in this video i'm gonna use our kirsty mickey gel polishes on my hand Meekin on Meekin. oh yeah <laughs> it's the mickey show <laughs> Okay, so these are the colours I'm going to be using today. So, our white, which is 001, is called... White Out. White Out! And then this gorgeous yellow, which is 033, is called... Swanky. Oh, it's a bit swanky. A little bit swanky. And then we've got 022, which is a gorgeous neon green, called... Suki. Suki. Do you know who that's named after? My little puddy cat. Does that mean Swanky's named after me? Of course. <laughs> and we've got this gorgeous bright pink, which is number 10. And that is Silly Billy. That's named after my dad, <laughs> Silly Billy. We thought it was very apt because this is not a colour he would wear and we just thought it'd be really funny to have a bright pink one named after my dad. Um, and then we've got number three, which is a gorgeous purpley pink. It's like a mauve. So, oh, hang on a second. Zero, zero, three. You've already said zero, zero, three? The yellow? Oh, sh No, the yellow one is zero, three, three. Oh, I thought you said zero, zero, three. No. <laughs> Sorry, zero, three, okay. Three. Sorry, I got that. So, the yellow one isn't swanky. The yellow one is? Uh, that's Isaac. Isaac! <laughs> that's named after Adam's gorgeous son. Because <laughs> he's the sun, and that's the colour of the sun. Yeah. So this, so double zero three, this one's swanky. That's swanky. Now that is a bit swanky. <laughs> um, then I've got zero three eight, which is called... Decker. Decker. That's named after my granddad, because he's called him Decker. His name's Derek. 
So yeah, um, that's named after my granddad. And then we've got number 24. Is... It's a gorgeous teal colour. Oh, best if you can guess who that I is. I can guess if it's named after. It's named after Nanny Pam. It is named after Nanny Pam. Nanny Pam, my mum. That's named after my mum. See how they're Decky and... Oh, oh look, they go together really well. Decky and Pam, they go together well. So then we've got uh, number 20, which is a gorgeous deep purple. Now I saw this name and I was a bit like, hmm, Badger. Badger. So Badger is named after my stepmom, Alison. Oh. <laughs> Who's they call her? Ali Badger. Ali Badger. Ali Badger, yeah. Oh well, now I know. Call her Badger. That's how I was like. We've got all these names and, and then a badger. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got number 35, which is a gorgeous lilac. And what are, what's lilac? What's lilacs? Lavender. Lilac. Yeah. Lily. 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 That's named after my sister, Lily. Mm -hmm. that, that one. And then you've got a nice pink one here, which is number 29. And that's Summer. Summer. And that's named after my niece. Who's called Summer? And she is just beautiful, aren't she? She's red hair. She's just absolutely beautiful, she is. Um, 39, gorgeous coral. And that is Ponyo. Ponyo. Um, Alicia named this one. It's something to do with anime. <laughs> I have no idea. But it's a gorgeous colour. So those are the colours we're going to use today. We've obviously got the top coat and the base coats, and then we've also got our clean-up solution, which dehydrates and also cleans up. So it cleans away the dust, but it also dehydrates the nails. So it's actually two products in one, which is pretty damn cool, if you ask me. So... So can we just talk about the number of colours that you've got there? Okay, I've turned into Faye. That's kind of what I'm getting at, yeah. That's... You've got short nails on. And how many colours have we got there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. But one, the white, I think I'm going to mix in with the green to make it easy. Make so it you're going to create paler. another colour? Yeah. <laughs> so there will be 11, yeah. <laughs> I'm just rolling with it. Okay. I've, you know, it's in my head. The idea is in my head. <laughs> so I'm going to take that, the pastel colours first. So we've got... The sort of palest colours of them, apart from the green, is going to be a background as well. Let me just get these organised because I know exactly what I'm doing and nobody else does. <laughs> That's just normal. I'm going to do it like that and like that. I'm also going to do it like that. Okay, do that. Yes. So these colours here are going to be my background colours, okay? So I'm going to use the clean up solution to clean up and dehydrate my nails. I have a little bit of like builder gel, it's actually a fibre gel on my nails to make them stronger. Cool, so. You excited? Yeah. So this is, I mean, my mum's got this colour on. All right. Yeah. Well, you mean Nanny Pam's got special treatment? She gets it early. Yeah. <laughs> she's got this, she's got, she's got quite a few actually colours on. Um, it's so bright, this is. Right, so I'm going to, because I'm putting it on top of the, Lexi gel, you don't necessarily need a base coat, however, if you're putting it on top of your natural nail, make sure you abrase that nail. Got to prep it and then make sure that you put the base coat on. I'm going to cure that thumb first. Should we Should we show up what kind of lamp? I was just about to, honest, to, yeah. Because obviously you need to have a proper lamp. You have to have the lamp that goes with 
be gel polish and this is the lamp that goes with the gel polish it has a rose gold so this is all rose gold and this is not going to come off because this is actually underneath that lacquer layer so that plastic coating that goes over the top actually goes over the logos as well so it's not going to just when we got them off. i was like kind of i sort of i was so confused as to how it was you can't feel embossed. it because it looks embossed doesn't it yeah but you can't feel it at all no and not so at it's all under that yeah so it's, it's underneath under, it's got its own top coat it has it's got its own top coat i would have cured it so it has a <laughs> it's cordless and you can carry it around like this, like, if you want to. Like it was a handbag. Yeah. So it's cordless. Um, it has a 99 second cure, which is for a low mode. So if you were using a gel that could build up a lot of heat, you would use that 99 second mode and it's like at the half the heat and then it slowly gradually builds up. 30 second cure and also a 60 second. Um, this is to show you how many bars you've got left. So do you know like on your phone, mm -hmm. you want to know how much battery you've got left, press the battery and it'll let you know that it's fully charged. But if it's not, then it'll go down those little markers. Okay, so that's how you know it's fully charged. It has a detachable base, metal base, which is so important when you're doing gel, a metal reflective base is massively important that's what you need it's got a huge amount of bulbs in I'll show you that that go all the way around the edges and the top I'm trying to get it on lots of different cameras here so you can you can see it everywhere so it will catch every bit of your hand and Ooh, that's a nice color. you see the color <laughs> the color oh there you are. You can't see it on them cameras. You can't. Well, you can see it on the front though. It's pink! <laughs> it's pink! So it's a pink light. It's not just your normal sort of like blue light. It's actually pink. The base is magnetic. It will come with this blue layer on. And you literally just peel that off. I've not peeled the bottom one off because I kind of want to protect it forever. <laughs> I've just peeled the one off that's that we need to reflect. So yeah, that's the gorgeous lamp. Love it. So, second coat. Get your beautiful area nice and neat, first of all. I just want, where's me? Cassidy brush. I'm literally just going to get a little bit of the green and make sure my cuticle is nice and neat. There we are, let's pop that in the lamp. And look at that lovely pink glow. Look at the pink glow! I love it! <laughs> So we've got this bright neon coral. Nice thin layer. You do not need to apply it thick. Just going to get a little bit on the brush 
and make sure they're nice and tight at the cuticle. And the consistency is really thin, it's nice and thin, but it's super pigmented. And because of that, that's why it soaks off so easily. That's a really good coverage for like one. One coat, yeah. Yeah, considering how thin it is. Mm -hmm. I know you've used these before, but I'm sort of like, this is a first for me. I haven't seen is it? Use. Well, you haven't tested them, I suppose, yeah. have you? Because, well, you don't do nails. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I just trust you. <laughs> but yeah, they are really thin, but great pigment. Absolutely fabulous pigment. I'm just going to kill those two. We've got the lilac, which is called Lily. You'll find that there are some gel polishes out there that they might have great coverage but they are really thick. You've got to put them on really thick. That's not the case with these. I mean, Adam, you can probably tell that they're a lot thinner because you're used to filming yeah. the product. Yeah, absolutely. It's just it, I can see it going on thinner. You know, it's, it's not bulking out because I get close up to you all the time. Mm -hmm. Even when, obviously, the close-up view is not even on the close-up view, but the view where I'm still looking at it, and it's, it is really, really, really thin. See, because it's thinner, and, like, you're using pretty much less of it. Yeah, yeah. Your bottle goes further. Definitely. Your bottle goes further, definitely. It does. You're just not bringing out as much all the time. Exactly. It's going to be really upset, you know. Why? Oh, because she's not had it first. Yeah, exactly. And we're like, sorry, Faye. They don't have your name on them. Well, well one, one bottle does. One bottle does. One bottle does have her name on it. Could uh, We had to name one after Faye. Yeah, it's the most boring one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, is it the most sparkly one, I'm guessing? It's a nice sparkly rose gold. <laughs> Right, so second coat of these colours now. What I love about the lamp as well is because you can actually put things on top of it. <laughs> I it's weird. I mean, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, they don't even need a second coat. I know, but, yeah, look, like, but look at this. Okay. Put second coat on and it proper pops. It does pop, yeah. Yeah. We thought it was wow before, but they have it now. So nice. Right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to use the darker colours. I want to say dark, so I'm not completely dark, but you know, I know what I'm on about. So on this one, we're going to use that one. On that one, we're going to use that one. On that one, we're going to use that one. But on this one, we're going to use the bright pink. And on the green, what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the green and the white to make a different shade of green. 
because they, they all these colors can be mixed together and they can be used they can be used to create art so not just like a full cover be that pigmented they can be used to paint with so that's what we're going to do we'll start with the green because that's my thumb and it's nice and easy for adam to film yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of that yellow Over the green and white. So let's just mix those two, those three colours, sorry. And we get like a, so it's lighter, get a nice lighter shade. So I've got the Cassidy brush and I'm going to create like a little silhouette with light catching face. Cure that so you can see you can actually paint with it. And this will just give it another dimension. Then we're going to use we're going to use this bright pink. Silly Billy, we're going to use the Silly Billy. <laughs> he is a Silly Billy, isn't he? Yeah. Ah. Did you know you've called a, a jazz polish Silly Billy after him? Yeah. Ah. What did he say? Um, he just sort of hadn't got a comment. All of these girls pick on the I know. time. I know. So you don't cut many slack at all. Um he doesn't cut us any slack. Well yeah, exactly. So you know this. Yeah. What with all girls in yeah. the family. No, I would just go and say. Just cure them. It's a ghost. Put that in. Then we're going to get a little bit of the white. And the pink. Mix it so it's slightly lighter. And then highlight with the point. 
it's a, little, it's a little bit pop party kind of cartoony, I want to say. Right, let's make this a little bit lighter. I know a lot of people are going to be asking, now that you've got your own set of gel polishes out, mm -hmm. are you still going to be using other Oh yeah, we'll still, yeah, we'll still use other people's products as well. I still want to, you know, be real and use what there is out there, you know. I kind of do just a bit of both, really. That's good, because there's, there's, room, there's room for everybody in this. There is. Some other companies don't, don't think that, though. <laughs> yeah, some other companies. Mentioning no names, but... Um, adventurous because there just isn't the room on my tiny little nail. There's just no room at the end.
Right, now I just want to get a tiny bit of white and highlight tiny little places within the whole design. So if we look here, just highlight. Here, here, on the lips, tip of the nose. Right, so I'm going to top coat them all. So we're going to top coat these, make them nice and glossy. This is also going to smooth everything out. When we paint with a gel product, it will create a little bit of thickness. So by going over with the top coat, it will smooth it out. I do want to make them matte, but I'm just going to make them more all of them. Right, so I think they look better matte. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just got to slightly buff, and I'm just buffing just to make sure they're nice and smooth because I'm going to put a matte top coat on. Because, yeah, I can't, I, I'm feeling the matte. Right, matte. So this is our matte top coat. It's in a gorgeous matte bottle, so that's how you know that it's the matte. Now when you're using mattes, please remember that they are very light sensitive, even to like studio light. Things like that. Into the lamp we go. Yeah, I like, I like, I like it. So, bit of oil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use the one with the brush because. I don't want to get it all over the gorgeous matteness of my nails. So I can just drizzle it around the edges. So wherever the oil touches, obviously, it'll go shiny. But it won't be permanently shiny. As soon as you sort of wash your hands or wipe over, it will go back to matte. How matte is that as well? That's like super matte. All the faces mm. and the luscious lips. How did it feel using your own gel? I, I, do, I, I, do you know what? That's like a dream come true actually. It is, it's like a dream come true.
How did it film filming your own job policy? It was lovely, yeah. <laughs> you know. Apart from being super stre- me stressing you apart, out. Because... Apart from, well, apart from doing them on your nails, let's do them on something That's what else. I mean. Yeah, do it, uh, filming my, me doing my own nails is never a nice experience because I just hate doing it. Cause and it's been a horrible, I horrible need, stressful day anyway. Yeah, I need like um, five <laughs> hands. <laughs> I, need, I need 20 cameras. Yeah, just to keep up with the amount of moving around. So, there you are. So, we've showed you the gel polish. We've well, a few of them. We've shown you quite a few of the gel polishes, yeah? And I've showed you that, you know, you can paint with it as well. It's so pigmented. It's beautiful. You've seen the shiny top coat. You've seen the matte top coat. You've seen the clean-up solution as well. So, do you know what I mean? I hope you're happy and I hope you like it. You've seen the lamp. Don't forget the lamp. The beautiful lamp. Um, I'm really happy. It's took a long time to develop the formula and get everything exactly how we want it. Packaging everything. It took a long time, but it's been worth it. Mm -hmm. And we're so happy to share this with you. And I hope you enjoy it too. So, everything I've used will be listed below. My gel polish will be listed below in the description box. Can't believe it. Um, and yeah, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da, duck!